Brought to you by Freeplay Human Power Devices, cat5.tv slash freeplay. I have a question from Gizmo at work. Hey, Gizmo. He says, hi there. My wife has a small reflexology business and a website to promote it. Getty Images has sent her a letter asking for $2,750 for three small thumbnail pictures. Ouch. Within 15 days or legal actions will occur. Mm-hmm. Searching the web, it seems the company is known for this fearware, for its fearware practices. And most of what I read suggests to ignore them until official action has occurred, which could mm. cost them more. For now, I removed the pictures from her website. Any other suggestions? Yeah, that's smart. Would, um, it's an unfortunate situation because when you build a website, and if you're building a website, never, ever, ever grab pictures off Google or anything like that. You know, Google Images is a great great thing Mm -hmm. you notice that i i actually brought up wikipedia because i knew that that was going to be a a you know an open source or whatever image but if i do an image search for you know let's do the the cn tower and i go to google images and i say oh you know what there's a really cool picture of the cn tower i'm going to use that on my website well somebody owns that picture and it's not you you never took that picture you haven't bought that picture so you don't have the right to use it. It's illegal to use it. Okay, so he already took the pictures off the website. But it was on there in the first place. And Getty Images is, is known to use um, almost a similar technology to TinEye where it <laughs> compares pictures and finds other websites that are using pictures that they don't have license to use. Because when you buy a picture from Getty Images, you give them your website address that it's going to appear on. So if they find it on another website, they know that you didn't pay for it. So you would have to buy the same picture more than once if you wanted it on more than one website. On more than one website, yes. Um, So they know that the artist who took the picture did not get paid. The artist knows that they're not getting paid for your usage of that image. So it's, it's a violation of the policies of Getty Images because they provide legal representation for their artists, the people who take the photos. Wow. That said... They are a little bit shady. Three thousand dollars for three thumbnails. Well, sure, thousand bucks a pop, no problem. They operate on the premise essentially that people are going to pay. Whatever you do, don't phone them because they are masters of manipulation and masters of making you feel like you've done some unbelievable crime. Yes, it's illegal to use images that uh, that. Um, you don't have the right to use, but there's also this thing called fair use, which is to say if you're not making money off of something, mm-hmm. you know, like if you're not making money off of something, then really it, 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 within a certain amount of reason, and in your case, you've immediately removed them from your website upon realizing that you don't have the right to use them, that seems like a fair uh, solution to me. Mm-hmm. Getty Images would probably say otherwise, but would it stand up in a court of law? Not necessarily. Because it's, you know, you, you probably didn't know that you were violating anything. So now you do. Um, so now you, you know that you need to be more careful when you put images up on your wife's website. Just take pictures and... Take pictures yourself. That's the safest thing. Mm-hmm. The next best thing is, obviously, you know, we, we aren't going to go shopping at Getty Images. Yeah. Because we just don't like their business practices. iStock Photo is, is a pretty uh, decent service. iStock Photo. Okay? okay, so here I type in CN Tower. And I see, oh, look, that's a pretty similar image. Right? And it says, here you go, what do you want? You only want a thumbnail, it's extra small, so it's only going to cost you 10 bucks. Sure. What you're doing there, you're not buying the image, it's not yours. You still can only use it in one place. Mm-hmm. But for nine and a quarter, iStock Photo is selling me the license to use that image. So now I have the right to use it legally. And if anyone ever gives me a hard time over it, I can say, look, I bought it at iStock. Right? That's awesome. So you're protecting yourself there. You've got a legal contract that is binding with iStock that says you've purchased that image. Is there anywhere you can get free pictures and free images? Oh, sure. Look for GPL licensed stuff, uh, which you can, you know, you can get into Google or any search engine and type, uh, <coughs> for me, another term is royalty free royalty free means you're not going to have to pay for its use and when when i do a search for royalty free images you'll notice 
that the first thing that comes up is, of course, iStock Photo. Mm-hmm. Because they're selling me royalty-free. There are a whole bunch of other results, too. Chances are pretty good. Notice Getty Images is also one of the royalty-free. Because, yeah, you do have to pay for the licenses a lot of times. You might be able to find GPL, right? GPL Images, perhaps. But it's, it's it can be hard to find harder to find free stuff that you're actually legitimately allowed to use in a commercial s- purpose like in a, for for a business website versus just going to iStock and spending $9 and a quarter. Right. That's if you pay per image. You can also buy credits, which brings down the price. If you prepay 20 credits, you're actually going to save money. So okay. that's an option too. So do you need to be worried about this Getty Images thing? Um, technically, you know, I would be a- obliged to say, yeah, because... They, th- that is a legal thing. Um, do, you, do you need to worry about it? No, don't lose sleep over it. It's not that big of a deal. Um, they, they use scare tactics, and they will push. They'll If they have your phone number, they will call. And they're like any collection agency, right? Right. You, you can disagree with their practices, but legally they technically have the right to give you a hard time over it. You've removed the images from your website, though. So they really, you know, it's under but- fair use. You're kind of... You're kind of like, whoops, that, that was an accident, and, mm-hmm. you know, let's not do it again. Yeah, kind of thing. that ought to be enough, yeah. in my opinion. Will they take you to court over it? I don't think so. Not for $3,000. That's not to say that it's okay to do, to use stuff illegally, knowingly, mm-hmm. but I don't think that's the case. Mm-hmm. I don't think that that's what happened here. Oh, so, poor guy. I hope that helps. I see, uh, let's see here. Jonathan, in the chat room, uh. thank you has come up with um, uh, stock, stock exchange oh, okay. A- sxc.hu it looks like okay I don't know my way around it but it says that it is a royalty free free stock photo site I don't know so mm-hmm. it's called stock exchange stock dot xchng in google found me there <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's good That's to know. I feel like I would just copy and paste pictures mm-hmm. unknowingly. SXC.hu. Um, also, um, Os Rob mentioning, that's a good idea to search through Creative Commons. We'll post links. Don't worry. We're going to post links in the show notes for you. Creative Commons is a huge repository. You know that Category 5 is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution, which means you can download this for free. This whole show is free. You don't have to worry about somebody coming after you and saying, hey, you didn't pay for that. <laughs> so, you know, CN Tower, let's see what happens. CN Tower. Oh, that's not images search, is it? Let's see. <laughs> S- search uh, for Creative Commons on Flickr, because those are images. There's also Photopedia, things like that. Let's do that. Okay, so here are some Creative Commons licensed photographs of the CN Tower. So far, the, none of them are stock worthy. They're not nearly the, the quality that you would expect from a, you know, these are home photos kind of thing. Mm-hmm. But you might be able to find stuff that way. And because it's licensed under Creative Commons, it means that, now observe Creative Commons will say Creative Commons attribution. That means if you take this show and distribute it, you can't say, this is the Sasha show. No, this is Category 5 Technology TV. You have to attribute it correctly. Otherwise, you're, you're renaming, rebranding. Um, that's the only Sasha kind of stipulation. Show. That sounds kind of cool, though. Yeah, thank you for watching. Yes, that, thank yeah. you, everybody, for watching for the Sasha watching the Show. Sasha show. <laughs> <laughs> Episode 285. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. How'd you get here already? Yeah. Category 5 TV is a production of Prodigy Digital Solutions and is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution 2.5 Canada. Thanks for watching.